Yo, what's up? During my time on YouTube, I've made videos on thousands of bad YouTubers. Like this girl who called Kobe Bryant at 3 a.m. after he passed away. Okay guys, so right now I'm currently about to call Kobe Bryant. There were even these kids who thought it was funny to make videos about George Floyd. I can't breathe! Most of the time, these YouTubers make horrible videos because they want views. They're also like super disappointed with their life, so they resort to making stupid videos for attention. Sounds pretty dumb, right? But has there ever been a bad YouTuber like that who became a better person? That's what we're gonna figure out today. We're gonna explore some of the worst YouTubers to ever touch the platform, and we're gonna see what they're doing nowadays. This is gonna be crazy. Get ready. Thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Recently, it seems like everybody on YouTube has been talking about Opera GX, and I now know why. You can make your computer so much cooler for absolutely free. With Opera GX, you can get hundreds of different free mods in the GX store that allow you to create whatever you want. Like, maybe you wanted to hear this crazy cat meow every time you press a key on your keyboard. Yeah, I don't know why anybody would ever do this, but it's there if you want to. You can also pick through so many different themes. You can make it so different sounds play when you open and close tabs. You can even add background music for your browser. You can do almost anything with GX mods. One of my favorite mods that I personally use is the Cozy Cat mod because it literally puts a sleeping cat on my screen. Who wouldn't want that? That's not the only good thing about Opera GX though. Hundreds of thousands of people use Opera GX because it doesn't use as much CPU or RAM as other browsers do. You're also able to limit how much power Opera is using with the GX control feature. This is really sick because let's be real, nobody likes when their PC is lagging. Opera GX also has a quick import tool that easily imports all your settings from your old browser right into Opera so you don't have to set anything up. Use my link below to download Opera GX today and see for yourself just how much better life is with a real browser. At the start of this video, I mentioned those kids that made like those extremely stupid videos, you remember? Well, their channel name was I'm Fake Station, and I first met them on August 11th, 2020. This channel is ran by two kids who I think are brothers. They kind of look like your average teenagers, but trust me, they're weird. When I first found their channel, I found videos of them calling celebrities that passed away at 3 a.m. I found videos of them saying words that started with N, and I even found a video of them calling Thomas the Train at 3 a.m. Hey, I'm trying, Zosa's RV has got, Zosa's got the freaking camera! <laughs> Once I saw that video, I knew there was something seriously wrong with them. I ended up talking to these guys, believe it or not, and I tried to convince them to stop making these bad videos. Long story short, they thought it was funny and they didn't want to quit. But that was four years ago. These kids were like 15 years old at the time and they didn't care one bit about what people thought of them. Now that they're adults, I want to see if they're still doing this stuff. All right, so let's try to find them. I think the first step is to just go to YouTube and search their name up, see if we can find their channel. Oh my God. Their channel is still here, but they haven't posted in over two years. Their last video says, goodbye for now, the end. They actually quit YouTube? In this video, they're both talking about how it's time to give up on their channel and how they're tired of making videos, and they also both look a lot older than I remember. But here's the thing. In the pinned comment of this video, they're saying goodbye to everybody and all that, but then they put a link to two of their other channels. The first channel they linked is their gaming channel? Uh, let's check this out. This video, guys, we got two special guests for the intro. We got J Station. <laughs> hey, what's poppin', guys? Welcome, what poppin', J Nation? Welcome back to the 3 a.m. channel, guys. The content on this channel is insane, bro. Reacting to Fortnite Battle Pass at 3 a.m. You have to be kidding me. The thing that's even funnier about this video is the fact that you can see the sun just shining right through the window in their face cam. I guess the sun comes out at 3 a.m. now. The last video that they posted on this channel though was posted over two years ago, so we can safely say that they quit on this channel too. But what about the other link in the pinned comment? Apparently, it takes you to their new channel? If we click on this link, it takes us to a channel that has a bunch of their deleted videos, like this one. Do not call DJ Cook at 3 a.m. Yes, I'm not even kidding. They acted like they called me at 3 a.m. They made a video about it. I don't even wanna show you the video. It's just that bad. The last video they posted on this channel was posted over two years ago as well. So they finally quit YouTube? Well, that's what I thought. Turns out they have another channel. I'm Fake Station TV. The most recent video on this channel was a month ago and it says, do not order Subway at 3 a.m. 
This has to be a joke. When you click on this video, you see the same kids from earlier, but they look a lot older now. They both have beards, what the heck? For this whole 12 minute video though, they're just sitting here yapping about Subway and 3 a.m. challenges. It's really weird. But here's the thing, there are other videos on this channel are like summoning a leprechaun at 3 a.m. Calling Santa Claus at 3 a.m. Don't get me wrong, these videos are still horrible and they still suck. And if you ever watch them, it'll probably give you a headache, but they're not as bad as the toxic videos they used to make when they were kids. Speaking of kids, I remember there was this one YouTuber who basically faked his son's death for views. This dude's name is Eli Socray. Now, believe it or not, Faking his son's death isn't the only weird thing that this guy has ever done. Eli Socray has been a horrible YouTuber ever since I met him, all the way back on May 25th, 2019. When I first found Eli Socray's channel, I realized that he was one of the fakest YouTubers of all time. It was good, man. It's your boy, Busy. It's your boy, Drizzy Blake, man. Huh? Spinning a fidget spinner at 3 a.m.? What? Freddy Fazbear came to my house? I caught him? This has to be a joke. These videos that he was posting were so fake and so horribly made. It was so obvious that he was just doing this so he could get a bunch of views from little kids. But then eventually, as Eli Socray got older, he got bored of making these fake 3 a.m. videos, so he decided to change up his content and do this. He made a video saying, we don't have our son anymore. And in this video, He's acting like his son is gone, and he's acting like something happened to him. He's not here. And no, this is not him. No, this is not him. This is a fake baby doll, man. I got this doll to make up for it because I'm so sad right now. So I had to get a fake doll to take his place. Because I just got to tell by the goddamn title. Our son is not here. Our son is not here. So now I have to go buy a baby doll to take his spot and it's not the same. I'll be talking to this baby doll at night. I'll be holding him close to me. I'll be trying to change his diaper, but his clothes is glued on so it don't even come off. I'll be trying to feed him, but the milk just come right out of his mouth because they don't even drink it because it's a fake doll. If you actually watch this video, you can see that he's acting super sad and he's basically saying that his son died. But by the end of the video, it turns out he was lying. He did all of this for views. He didn't stop there though. He also made videos saying that his son got COVID. The reason he was doing that was because this was back in 2020 when the whole pandemic started. He thought he could get a bunch of views by clickbaiting people into thinking that his son was sick. What a great father. Once he realized that I made a video exposing him, he decided to make a bunch of videos about me talking about how I need to be stopped and how bad I am as a YouTuber. All right, buddy. But all of that was multiple years ago. I haven't heard from Eli Socray in a very long time. Let's see what he's doing now. Okay, so I found his channel. Um, his most recent video says, I crashed into a truck on my e-bike. Um, who cares? He also made a video eating a chopped cheese sandwich. He's literally just eating the food, not even talking. All you hear is just mwam, mwam, mwam. Isn't it crazy how he went from fake 3 a.m. videos to faking his son's death to now sitting here and eating on camera? I was about to say that he became a better YouTuber because these videos aren't really horrible, but then I saw this. This video says, I grabbed her, I'm not even gonna say the rest of the title. This is literally a one minute video of him grabbing his girlfriend. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that. There are so many more videos on his channel that I couldn't even show if I wanted to. This dude is done clickbaiting his son. He's done clickbaiting fake 3 a.m. videos. He's done clickbaiting Freddy Fazbear, but he's still posting weird content. He gets an F, bro. Going back to Eli Socrates' channel reminded me of another YouTuber that I used to know, bro. This YouTuber is probably the cringiest YouTuber of all time, N&A Productions. I first met this guy all the way back in 2020 on February 12th. When I first got to his channel, I knew I had to make a video about him, and I ended up doing it. The video I made is called, I think I found the worst YouTuber ever, wow. <laughs> That is ruthless. In that video I made, I watched some of the dumbest videos ever, like this one. I mailed myself to Sonic the Hedgehog at 3 a.m. Excuse me? This video that he made though is my favorite. Don't spin three fidget spinners at 3 a.m. while calling Sonic the Hedgehog at 3 a.m. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Sonic is actually calling me. Bro, I'm getting a stomach ache just by looking at that. It's been four years since I've been to this crazy dude's channel, and I want to see if he's finally changed. All right, so I'm on his channel, and I see a video that says, I'm back, huh? In this video, he talks about how he has a boxing match coming up. I'm going to be fighting on their card case. I mean, it's not on their card case. It's going to be misfits. You're telling me this dude's a boxer now? The guy who had SpongeBob come to his house at 3 a.m. is a fighter? I got to see one of these fights. Called fighting, my friend, and it ain't uh, looking pretty right now, sunshine. Oh, oh nice right hook. Right hey, and a right hook. He smells blood and he pushes forward. He pushes forward. And then does the right thing. Bro, I think my grandma could fight better than this. What is this? Imagine losing a fight to a guy who does 3 a.m. challenges about Dora the Explorer and Sonic the Hedgehog. The last video he ever uploaded onto his channel, though, was posted over a year ago. But he did post a YouTube short a couple months ago. It was him and this girl just talking about something I don't even know. It was kind of stupid. <laughs> Give a number between one and ten. If we both get the same number, I'm gonna show you the rest of this picture. A couple of years ago, this guy was like the most devoted 3AM YouTuber ever. He was screaming in every single video, spinning his fidget spinners. I can't believe that he changed. I'm gonna give this guy an A. Good job, man. So you're telling me that NNA Productions and I'm Fake Station both quit YouTube? Let's go! I can't be too happy though, because Eli So Cray is still making weirdo videos, but I should have expected that from him. If you want to see me roast some more bad YouTubers, click this video right here. In that video, I looked at the worst seven-year-old on YouTube. It was kind of crazy. Click it if you want to see that. Peace out!